For the following exercises, sketch a line with the given features. Q of x is equal to 3. Who hates this notation? Me too. Remember, anytime we have Q of x, F of x, H of x, just call it y. It's going to make your life a lot easier. This is really the this is really the equation for the line, y equals 3. Now watch, anytime we've got to plot a line, that means we need a set of axes, right? x and y. So label them. Horizontal is x, vertical is y. What you're task to do then is create a line in which case the y value is always every time everywhere equal to 3. I don't care what the x value is. It doesn't tell me anything about x, right? I only care what the y value is. So select any point in which in on this space that which y is 3. Did you maybe select this point? Doesn't that have a y value of 3? It also has an x value of 0, which is fine. What about this one? Does that also have an x value of th uh, excuse me, a y value of 3? Yes. It also turns out to have an x value of 3, but who cares? How about this one? There you go. And what do you notice? What's the pattern? Horizontal. And you can always remember that. Anytime y is equal to a constant, it'll always be a horizontal line. Simple. Now, let's move on to the second equation. Now what they're trying to do to us is confuse us. Remember that in order to sketch a line, we need to get the formula in terms of this general equation. Y is equal to mx plus b. My job is to basically then notice that this is solved for y and only y, and my job now is to do the same thing here. So how do I solve this equation for y by itself? Well, I got to get y onto one side. So why don't I subtract the 36 from the left? So what that would then be is that would then be 4x minus 36 is equal to negative 9y. And now what can I do? Well, i got to get y by itself, so I'm going to divide each side by negative 9. And now, lo and behold, here is our equation. And what I'm going to do, well, let me do it this way. y will equal then, you can distribute this negative 9 to each numerator value. So negative, so it basically would be 4 over negative 9 times x. Now remember, negative 9 into a negative 36 now is going to be a positive 4. So plus 4. Okay. Let me just move that down. Got a little off track. And this is now basically the equation, right? It's going to be y is equal to 4 over negative 9. You can also write the negative up at the top. It does not matter. We're going to come up with the same answers. x plus 4. Okay. I'm going to put that in a box. Notice how that matches this form beautifully now. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little cleanup now. Okay, get rid of some of this work. And we are now going to plot this line. This works, this goes back to what we've studied already. Okay, so now though, the only problem is having enough space to plot this. <laughs> so what am I going to, okay, I'm going to put this off up here for now. Okay, let me just get rid of this then. Maybe I'll bring it on over here a little bit. Okay, so we got to plot that. Let me just get rid of the box around it because it's confusing me. Okay, let's plot now an axis. So we got a y. We have our x now, and I'm going to plot. I'm, I know it's going to look a little off center, um, but I need to have enough room to plot this. So what's the y-intercept? Always start with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is 4. So plot, plot where the y-intercept is 4. It would be right there. Now notice what this slope means. Remember, the slope of 4 over negative 9. Slope is always change in y over change in x. We know that. It's always y over x. Right? So what, what, did, I, what did I do here? Silly. Silly, silly, silly. Hold on one second. Let me bring this. Yeah. Let me bring this down a little bit. And let me bring the y-axis over. Okay? And I know I'm going to have to plot that point a little differently. Let's call that y. One second, guys. I apologize. So let's plot then the uh, y-intercept again of 4. So that would be right about here. Okay, I just got to make sure I have enough space. So now where's the next point? So starting with your y-intercept, I have to follow my slope. The y value is changing by a positive 4, which means I have to go up 4 units right to there. And then... At the same time, that's also changing. The x is also changing by negative 9 units, meaning i got to move over to the left now, 9 units. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my God, nine. All right, so it's going to be right. <laughs> it's going to be right in here. Okay. So let me just erase this now. Sorry. This problem is getting all over the place, and the point is going to be right here. Okay. So, and actually, let me just. Oh no, no. Uh, right. This is getting a little crazy. Ah, oh, good. All right, so let's plot that new point. Uh, four, and now I forgot where it was, so I apologize. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is atrocious, but here's the line. Okay, this is what it's going to look like. Let's even that out a little more. And let's line up the points, and voila. Okay, now let's do the last one. Again, we have to get this into y equals mx plus b. So I want y on the side by itself, so let me subtract then x over 3 on over to the right-hand side. That would mean that I have now negative y over 4 equals now negative x over 3 uh, plus 1. Now realize that this is the same thing, right? i got to get rid of negative uh, 4 in, in the denominator, basically. So what i got to do is i got to multiply now each side by a negative 4, okay? If I multiply this side by a negative 4, notice how the negatives will cancel and the 4s will cancel, leaving me with just y. That means i got to do the same thing now on this side. Multiply this side by negative 4. And when we do that, we realize that we have y will then be equal to negative 4 times a negative x over 3 is going to be a positive 4 over 3x. Minus then negative 4 times a positive 1 is going to be a negative 4. So here's then the equation. Okay, let's do a little housekeeping and clean this up. So this is now the equation. All right. Now what we got to do is plot this. Okay. So let's let me put it above, and let me just resize it a little bit. All right. So now, plot your axis. Y. And what do we got? Yeah, let's do X here. Okay. First start with the y-intercept of negative 4, so let's plot that. 1, 2, 3, 4 then, right? we got to go down to that spot. Boom. And now take a look at your slope. Positive 4 over 3. So remember, 4 over 3, it's always going to be change in y over change in x. So we're going up 4 units in the positive y direction, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we got to go over to the positive x direction, 3 units. So right there. Okay, so let's plot that point. And we're basically done. All we have to do now is connect the dots. All right, let me just fix my Y there. And let's draw in that line. And that looks close enough. And there you go. That's it. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. We look forward to helping you out with more problems. Take care.